dear student welcome in 8th standard geography class let's continue our fourth lesson humidity and clouds students observe page number 21 figure 3.8 heading of figure is types of clouds in this figure various types of clouds are shown if you observe this figure carefully you will get to see different uh, different patterns of clouds according to their height you can see clouds according to their altitude altitude means height above the sea level okay so observe this figure carefully clouds which are at a great altitude are formed from fine snow particles okay students evaporation condensation occurs continuously consequently one after another this evaporation and con condensation occurs one by one again and again hence specific types of clouds cause rainfall on the earth students amount of water vapor are more near the earth surface and as we go higher and higher water vapor decreases hence hence lower altitude clouds are larger in size because they are full of moisture and higher altitude clouds are smaller because they have less amount of water vapor or a moisture students let's understand types of clouds by studying this given chart on uh, study the given chart on page number 21 observe that chart study that chart cloud types according to international classification heading of that chart is cloud types according to the international classification so clouds are classified into various groups so according to height clouds are which are at the altitude between 7000 meters to 14000 meters are cirrus clouds cirio stratus clouds and cirio cumulus clouds these clouds are considered as high clouds and at the altitude between 2000 meter to 7000 meter alto stratus alto cumulus uh, types of clouds are there these clouds are considered as a medium clouds and clouds which are at the height between 7000 meters to 14000 meters are called high altitude clouds and 2000 to 6000 meet 7000 meter clouds are called medium are called medium clouds altitude below 2000 meters are uh, so, uh, altitude below 2000 meter have stratocumulus clouds stratus clouds and nimbostratus clouds okay students clouds uh, clouds are there these clouds are considered as a low clouds below 2000 meter clouds are called low clouds cumulus clouds and cumulonimbus clouds their extent change these clouds can be at different altitude so students let's study high altitude clouds uh, high altitude clouds are cirrus cirio cumulus and cirio stratus cirrus clouds are wispy wispy means a wave like structure or a, or a cotton like structure cirio cumulus clouds are like groups of waves and cirio stratus uh, clouds are like a bed sheet with wrinkles can you you can understand bed sheet if that bed sheet is not properly folded uh, if it is uh, clumsy if it is kept then it get wrinkles okay wrinkles and uh, cirio stratus clouds are like a bed sheet with wrinkles how they appear bed sheet like with a wrinkles these clouds have hollow around them these clouds have a ring around them so we, we will study medium medium clouds they are at the altitude of 2000 to 7000 meter alto cumulus clouds are there alto cumulus clouds they have a wave like structure layer like layers they have layers and wave like structure they are white in color and they have a gray shade alto stratus clouds are not thick these clouds are not thick thin clouds these are hence sun can be through sun can be seen through the alto stratus clouds low clouds are there in low clouds five types of clouds are there so which are they 
five types of clouds are there in this category stratocumulus have layer have layers stratocumulus types of clouds have layers their color is earthy and white stratus clouds have layers stratus clouds are also have layers and their color is ash ash color clouds pneumostratus Uh, these clouds are grayish in color and cause continuous rainfall and even snowfall also cumulus clouds are there they are at the height of 500 meters to 6000 meter they are cumulus clouds are in between 500 meter to 6000 meter altitude these clouds are huge dome shaped gray in color dome shaped uh, if you see stupa if you see masjid mandir that shape is called a dome shaped so these clouds are huge and dome shaped gray in color they are the indicators of pleasant weather cumulus because of ple- cumulus cloud um, ple- weather becomes pleasant okay due to vertical expansion of these clouds from form into cumulonimbus clouds and bring rain Cumulonimbus clouds are indicators of thunderstorm. They look like huge mountains. These are dense, dark in color. These clouds are dense and dark. They cause thunder and lightning. They bring rain with storms. You can understand storm. And sometimes hailstorm also due to cumulonimbus clouds. it causes storm it causes thunder and it brings rain with a storm and sometimes hail storm also such rain is not continuous it such rainfall due to these clouds does not remain long lasting student now observe figure 3.9 heading is cumulus cloud you should observe page number 3.9 page number not figure number 3.9 page number 22 okay cumulonimbus clouds heading is cumulonimbus clouds cumulonimbus clouds bring rain along with thunder and lightning what is the reason behind thunder and lightning let's study the top portion thunder and lightning which clouds bring thunder and lightning cumulonimbus clouds bring thunder and lightning how this thunder what is the reason behind thunder as well as lightning we are going to study the top portion of cumulonimbus clouds has a anvil like structure anvil what is anvil anvil you will get to see blacksmith do you know goldsmith blacksmith so anvil is a uh, iron block uh, we, uh, who carry who has this iron block blacksmith who makes iron articles the person who makes iron, iron article is called blacksmith and the blacksmith is having iron block so the cumulus clouds has an anvil like shape these clouds have uh, positive charge at the upper end and negative charge at the lower end and the land is have our land earth is having positive charge okay due to this different charges electrical charge develop and lightning occurs electricity develops and lightning occurs the air around the lightning the air around the lightning rises up because of heat Uh, heat and thundering sound causes which leads to thundering clouds shall we uh, shall i repeat again so, okay um, cumulonimbus clouds have positive charge at upper end and negative charge at lower end and land is having positive charge due to this different charges electric current develop there and due to this electric current lightning occurs okay and the air around the lightning rises up and be, this leads to the thundering sound okay uh, compared to the other clouds this cumulonimbus clouds raindrops are larger why these raindrops are larger because they move up and down many times these raindrops move up and down many times they comes down they go again up they comes down again they go up so these raindrops come um, these raindrops uh, move up and down again and again many times hence water more water accumulate around these raindrops and these raindrops become larger okay hence clouds uh, uh, as the raindrop become larger hence clouds are unable to float in the air because the weight of the clouds become heavy and these heavy clouds 
are unable to float in the air uh, hence hence they fall on the ground in the form of rain the air in this cloud is very cold air in the cumulonimbus cloud is very cold okay and the air in these clouds is very cold hence raindrops are uh, freeze hence raindrops freeze freeze means they be, they turn into ice as these clouds have very cold air okay this the very cold air the raindrop freezes and falls on the ground in the form of hell or hell stones okay students read lesson then only you will understand you have to listen video carefully and read lesson for lesson over okay any time your exam can be conducted so keep on studying subscribe my video if you like this video you can like you can you can press like button and if you have any doubt you can ask me okay students bye have a good day thank you